Hi, I'm Gabe. And I'm Gigi. Welcome, Welcome to, to In Tune. Tune, where music and entertainment meet the politics of a suburban high school. On Friday, September 7th, rapper and producer Mac Miller tragically passed away at age 26 due to a drug overdose. His passing is the latest in a string of drug-related deaths in the rap community. Miller was loved and admired by fans and fellow artists. His death opens up a conversation about the stigma behind addiction and mental health. And then it's like, then you get bored. Then you're like, well, I could just be high and I could have a whole adventure in this room. I'm always We like, were curious to hear what students yeah. thought about the promotion of drug use in the rap industry. So we took to the halls of NHS to ask their opinions. A lot of the lyrics and rap songs definitely talk about like using drugs. And I think that that definitely has an influence on the listeners because they kind of look up and idolize these rappers that um, sometimes, uh, I guess, use drugs in a dangerous way. I did have a zen, 13 hours till I land, had me out like a light. Um, so I think that it definitely has a large effect on its listeners and viewers. With Mac Miller's death, I think it just goes to show that folks like struggle with addiction from all walks of life. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. This is an issue that is affecting everybody, regardless of who's promoting it or who isn't. This week, we sat down with Dr. Peter Cassis to discuss the prevalence of addiction in our society and what can lead to recovery. Uh, stigma is one of the greatest barriers that, uh, that people face in, uh, in getting assistance for their addiction disorder. The good news is that uh, there's more and greater and greater recognition that, um, that substance abuse is not a personal defect, <laughs> that it's not, um, it's not a character flaw. It's not just a connection between addiction and mental health. Addiction is mental health. They're synonymous, they're one and the same. Um, many people will consider addiction to be some kind of moral failing. However, that's not really a, a helpful way to think about it. Uh, instead, it's important to think about addiction as a disease. It is important to spread awareness about mental health issues in our community. If you are concerned that someone may be struggling, there are many ways you can reach out and ask for help.